Hi there, Rolly here, ZO1B today. And uh, I have the privilege this morning uh, to come across to one of our outer islands in the Auckland Gulf. This little island is called Waiheke Island. Uh, to meet my friend uh, Jim, ZO1 uh, Lima Charlie, ZO1 LC. So greetings, Jim. How are hey, you? Good day. How are you? Nice oh, to see doing you. Doing well, thank good, you. Good. Uh, hey, thanks for having me across. I mean, this is this is just brilliant. Well, it's the sort of thing that you know people come want to come to Waiheke for various reasons. We've had a few um, people from Europe come here and over the years and run the expeditions from here because it's a, a less common iota. OC uh, two hundred one. You know, there's not many. Right. Hands so so there. On, on the island here, you. You uh, not in the uh, well, one of the most active uh, amateurs of a, of a couple, I think. And uh, but you have your own iota, you have your own pota, you have your own sota, <laughs> you yeah. have your own grid reference. <laughs> we, we, we've, we've got um, grid squares because there's uh, yeah. a few people in New Zealand collect grid squares. I think yeah, there's yeah. about eight or nine here, and occasionally I'll pop out and light them up for right. the uh, awards and counties net. Um, on a, um, an evening about 8 o'clock I think it is, 8pm but right. um, there's, pl there's plenty of bits and pieces here and the thing is uh, I said before, you can uh, do whatever you want to do, you know, if you don't want to do anything that's fine but if you want to get involved in a few bits and pieces that's totally okay as well You've got an ideal location here Absolutely fabulous. Don't, I'll, I'll just don't pop tell over. anybody. I'll just pop over and push this camera around and just show just people. Just don't what's tell going anybody. On. We don't want more people here. Because, uh, this is panning around from where Jim is. It's, right. not, it's not too bad. Not too shoddy at all, is yeah. it? And we're probably at about uh, 26, 27 degrees at the moment, so the temperature's not too bad either. I mean, this is that's lovely. Uh, yeah, I'm quite envious, to be honest. From from a radio point of view, though, uh, I mean the island's getting a bit more populated now, so I guess your RF noise level is the starting to come up a bit. Yeah, the noise is coming up, and you can notice that uh, when people are uh, there's a lot of holiday homes here, and when some of them are occupied, the uh, QRM is quite high, and then they disappear again. Um, right. The people next door to us are a bit noisy, but they they go to bed about nine o'clock or earlier, so it's okay. Um, and you just got to watch for things like this um, and put up. There's yeah. not much you can do. Yeah, you just got to yeah, put up yeah. with it. Work yeah, through you it. Put up with it. Eh? Oh, it's a it's a far cry from what I have in in the city, though, uh, for sure. I'm sure I'm sure about that. And um, uh, I'll take a I'll insert a couple of shots from your uh, QDH you know, and um, uh, later and. Uh, You've got a magnificent takeoff from your place, haven't you? It's pretty good, yeah. It's, it's not bad. Um, but it's like everything, you know, you just got to compromise and work your way around the issues and yeah. and make the best of what you've got. Yeah. You know, nothing's, nothing's ever perfect, so just get on with it. Right. So, now, you've been an operator for how long now? Um, HF, I started in 2004. We had, um, I, I, I passed my exam in 1969. Right. Um, when I was a, a, a soldier in the New Zealand Army and a, a radio tech, and yeah. uh, never never picked up the call until 1980, and, when it, and I can only pick up a two meter call, which I used for um, marine, basically marine use. All oh, right, yeah, and yeah. Then put so a, that was one of the uh, T calls, yeah. It was a T call, yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two meters and above, and uh, I used the radio in the boat because I didn't see the sense of buying a marine radio and not being able to use it most of the time. <laughs> uh, and then I, I gave it back when I sold the boat um, we, and then finally the New Zealand caught up with the rest of the world and said we don't need this thing called Mouse Code. Um, <laughs> and in 2004 they let us on the, on the air with our CW test. So yeah. I thought, wow, that, that's, this is a good thing, I'll give it a go. And, 
that, that's what uh, got me into the whole thing. Uh, right, well, you, you, you're talking to an Arden CW yeah. fan here, of course, you know that, eh? <laughs> it's always good for a wind-up. Always good for I, a wind-up. I, I talk, with, talk with a guy over on Tairua every day on VHF. It's the only common uh, communications we have between right, us. Right. And uh, he's a mouse code operator as well, and uh, we always have a bit of ribbing, so no, okay. no, no problem. But... Um, yeah, I, I st- after the first three months, I think we had a three-month um, probation period of, you know, where you weren't allowed to go above uh, 80 metres. Yes. Um, then I bought a decent rig um, and turned the whole thing into a digital mode because right. I don't hear too well and, um, and I can see a lot better and my memory's a little bit rough. So it, d- digital's good. It's on the screen. I can work there. Right, so... Yeah, I understand you have a bit of difficulty with the CW, and um, I guess sideband uh, causes a, a few problems from time to time too, yeah? Yeah, I, I, the sideband, I worked the con, uh, Oceania contest uh, this year, yeah. and I didn't realise how bad I was, um, because I just couldn't understand what the guys, the call signs of the guys, and the Indian, the Indonesians particularly were <laughs> blasting it through so fast that I, I just gave up. I, yeah. It, it's it's not for me, you know. Um, my hearing's not good enough, and my decoding, mental decoding, doesn't work fast enough. Right, right. On the screen, the computer's doing a lot of work. I can read it; it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And 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 I guess you know, for those, I mean, this you can polarize the world, can't you? In, in amateur radio, uh, with FT8 and things like that. There's those that uh, those that love it, those that hate it, and uh, and there's everybody in between. But I guess for, from your point of view, FT8 is a, is a real godsend, really, isn't well, it? Yeah, the thing with a- amateur radio is that you don't have to you don't have to do anything. You can cho- pick and choose whatever you want to do. And for me, I started out with PSK31. I, I looked at RTTY and I wondered what on earth all the stuff was. And it, and it, it had a problem that it didn't have any error correction. So right. you had to guess what was the missing work characters were and things like this. PSK came along, and um, that was fine. I could uh, run a um, hit and run uh, QSO with somebody that didn't speak any English. You ran canned messages, said this is the my QDH, and here's my uh, transmitter, and all that sort of right, stuff. Right. And the guy pushed the button at the other end, and it's fine. Right. But then you'd get to somebody um, that spoke English as the first language. And you could really have a good little rag chew with them. Right, so right, yeah. The, the Americans and the Australians and the UK was was always good to have a chat. I, I tried Brilliant. it once with um, a guy in Moscow because I'd, I'd been to Moscow in 1977, and I said right. I, it, things must have changed a lot. And he didn't understand. He just came back with a weather report. So <laughs> I learnt to pick and choose, but. Yeah. Um, I, I watched a, a video once of a, of a Turkish guy. Well, in fact, I may have, I may have met him in, in uh, Dayton. Right. And uh, he worked SSB. He didn't speak a word of English, but he could spout off his name and his QDH and the, and the signal levels. But you ask him a question which required comprehension. Yes. It, yes. Was, it was gone. So. Yeah, and that's uh, quite common. Yeah. Uh, it is quite common. Uh, hence the uh, five nine uh, move on. Yeah. And uh, in many ways, uh, uh, CW is is a bit the same way uh, to Jim. Right. You know, it's a five nine move on, five yeah. nine move on. And occasionally you'll come across somebody that wants Gives to a sit, have a bit of a rag you, and that's that's great. I yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah. yeah.